take a moment to read the question so there are 100 students in a class 60 of them study mathematics 45 study physics 35 study chemistry it's given that 20 students study both math and physics 15 study both physics and chemistry and 25 study both chemistry and math it is also given that 10 students study none of these three subjects we have to find out which among the given options is possibly true how do we do this question let us now draw a Venn diagram representing the three subjects so this is a circle for math with 60 students this one for physics with 45 students this one for chemistry with 35 students the number of students common to both math and physics is 20 common to physics and chemistry is 15 and common to math and chemistry is 25 so we get this let us now also make the universal set around it we know that the universal set contains 100 students we also know that there are 10 students studying none of these three subjects so we mark it here let us now call the common part as x so x represents the number of students who study all the three subjects now we can write down the values of all the other regions in terms of x so this is 20 minus x this is 15 minus x this one would be 25 minus x and further this would be 15 plus x 10 plus x and finally x minus 5 now when we add all these values we should actually get 100 so that means 60 which is all the students studying math plus 10 plus x which is all the students studying only physics plus 15 minus x and plus x minus 5 plus 10 should be equal to 100 now when we add all these we get 90 plus x is equal to 100 and therefore x is 10 so knowing the value of x we can now find out the values for all the regions so this is what we get now once we have found the values we can see which options are correct looking at the first option it says 95 students study at least one of math physics and chemistry now that is not correct because the number of students who study at least one of these three subjects is actually 90 so we say that this is false the second option says 10 students study each of math physics and chemistry and that's correct because we found the value of x to be 10 so this one is true looking at the third one it says 70 students study either math or chemistry now how do we get this number well we can just take the union of m and c and we find that that number should be 60 plus 5 plus 5 which is equal to 70 so this one is true the last option says that 35 students study math along with either physics or chemistry now looking at the Venn diagram it's clear that this is the number so 10 plus 10 plus 15 and that adds up to 35 so this one is true therefore the correct answers can now be written down and they are b c and d